my channel for those of you who need me for some lip gloss. Okay, now I'm ready to begin. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel for those of you new here. My name is Julia, nice to meet you. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to tie-dye, or at least how I tie-dyed my items. Let's just get right into it. So I'm doing two pieces today. I'm doing this little biker short set that I got from Forever 21. And the second thing is just like this plain white t-shirt that I saw while I was buying the dye. I'm like, might as well. I made a plan to do two different types of tie-dye. For the biker short, this was my plan. Over here I'll insert like a picture, like this kind of. However, I think I did something wrong. So I'm just going to show you what I did to get the tie-dye I got which I still really like you'll see later on for the first one it didn't ask me to let it or anything so I didn't do that I just went straight to making the swirls and then I just pretty much rubber band it And then I tried to swirl it not in places that, like, let's be real. Okay, so like in the, the crotch area, I tried not to put anything there because I didn't want to look like it peed myself. There's room for one more here, but I kind of don't want one right at the crotch where it looks like I peed my pants. And then I went in with my color. I used the color Lime from the Tulip Dye Kit. I think what I did wrong is I didn't put enough color because I was scared that there was going to be too much of like the dots. I just thought everything would like kind of leak through. But I think that's where I went wrong. So if you want to do it like the inspiration picture that I did, then I would suggest putting a little bit more tie-dye. I'm definitely going to try it again in another video because I really want a tie-dye like that. Moving on. And then after you finish your color, you let it set for two or three minutes to kind of let the dye soak in a little bit, but not too much to get that pastel effect. Okay, this is what they look like. Ow! This is what they look like before the wash. It's a little bit saturated right now, but super cute. I'm gonna go throw them in. And then you put in the washer on cold with no detergent, just the water, and then this happens. So the pastel one is ready, and I'm gonna pull it out now. Okay, a little bit anticlimactic. I think I'm gonna put this in for a little bit more. I was hoping the color would spread more. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the dye. Maybe that'll help fix it, I'm not sure. Okay, add a little bit more. Let's see if this works. Okay, I put it in to wash again. It just finished, so I'm gonna take it out. I feel like it's not gonna make that big of a difference, but it was worth a shot. Let's see. Nope, it didn't make any difference. It just got it just got a little bit more green, which I'm happy about. So the green turned to blue. I guess because I didn't let it soak long, long enough, but I waited like two or three minutes. Oh, cause oh, cause it was wet. Mm, that's interesting. <laughs> kind of looks cool. Like it looks like I did like a teal and a green. I'm like not mad about it. So. After I figured out the whole situation, I hung it dry. And that's basically it. I let it dry overnight. It actually dried a lot faster than I thought it would. And here are the results. So it is this little top. It's like this lime green. And then in between, if you didn't hear in the video, I went to attempt to add more color so it can bleed through. But I forgot that I applied it on dry clothes, not wet clothes. So it ended up coming out like this, like, teal color right here if you can see i don't know why it's like picking up the green so like badly but as you can see like there's teal here it added that and it kind of gave like a cool effect to like the clothes so i'm not mad about it but obviously i wanted my inspo pick but i think this is really cute too maybe in the future i'll go in and add more green but i think for right now i'm gonna keep it like this it's really cute here's the top and now onto the multicolor. so i decided to do a multicolor dye for the next one so multicolor is like more than one color i chose orange and red but first i had to wet the clothes so this one actually said to wet the clothes so that's what I did and then I pretty much made the pattern and rubber banded I kind of just grabbed the clothes and just put rubber bands on it I think it's called a bullseye effect I didn't know what it was called I just kind of rubber banded whatever I was feeling and I put as much color and I also massaged I forgot to save this for the other one too but I kind of massaged the color in so it kind of gets more in there And then it said to leave the bag for as long as you want in there. So then the longer you leave it in, the more color will be saturated in it. So I chose just to leave it in overnight. Thought that would be the easiest one to a plastic bag. Boom, boom. After the eluded time, you wash it in the sink. Get out most of the color. I kind of wish I would have left more of the color. I tried to rinse it out so it wouldn't also ruin my washer because I was scared of that. But it didn't ruin my washer. I tried to rinse out as much of the excess color as I could. And then I put it to wash on high for 
I don't remember how much time and then I put a little bit of detergent because that's what the instruction said to do and then I put it to dry on normal it is taking a little bit longer to dry that's why it's gonna look like what I told you because I want to cut it into a little cute like top or pattern and I haven't decided what I want to do yet so I'll just show you like what it is now this is how it came out I think it came out like pretty cute it looks a lot cuter on camera than in person but it's super cute again I wish I would have left more of like the dye on it so then it could really like be a little more like sunrise colors I still like it right now I'm just gonna style it like just tuck it into my bra as I decide what I want to do to cut with it I'm thinking like a little tube top or like a little like bandana top type situation I don't know but that's how I did my tie-dye the first one was kind of a feel but I kind of like the end result and the second one I like how it looks now and then I think when I cut it it's gonna look super duper cute too I'm definitely gonna do a second tie-dye video because I ordered some stuff so that I can try things again so make sure to subscribe for that or if you want any more DIY type of videos to kind of I don't know fill your time while we're stuck at home or whatever let me know in the comments down below what you want me to do or any ideas also if you do any of these DIYs at home you can send me pictures on Instagram I would love to see your pictures and like how you guys did it and how it came out and all that thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe turn on your post notifications I post every Monday and Wednesday and I will see you guys next time bye